both get their heads down. Kate Middleton following in footsteps of other senior royal. Kate Middleton is following in the footsteps of another senior royal, who the Duchess of Cambridge is a lot like as both women get their heads down, according to a royal commentator. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge has received praise from royal watchers after her latest honor was revealed. The mum of three will be on the cover of the September issue of Australia's Women's Weekly. Juliet Reedon, the magazine's editor-at-large, shared the photograph of the issue's cover on Twitter on Wednesday. Kate, who is shown smiling widely in a casual pink dress, was quickly celebrated by fans on the social media platform. One Twitter user, at Lady Ingrid123, wrote, The Duchess of Cambridge is amazing, she knew listened, learned, took all the advice, she's loyal, respectful, she's got lots of values and she's trustworthy. She will be a fantastic Princess of Wales. Since officially entering the royal fold in 2011, Kate has been compared to many of her royal ancestors, including her late mother in law Diana, Princess of Wales, and her husband's grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II. But one royal commentator has likened the Duchess of Cambridge to another senior member of the royal family one who has also been widely hailed for her contributions to the firm. Cameron Walker, a royal reporter at GB News, argued that Kate is a lot like her aunt-in-law Princess Anne. Mr. Walker discussed members of the royal family with fellow royal commentator Kinsey Schofield as a guest on her To Die For Daily podcast in June. Miss Schofield had suggested that the Duchess seemed similar to the Queen, but Mr. Walker compared the monarch to her grandson Prince William, noting their sense of duty and lack of scandals. While he recognized that Kate is equally committed to her royal role and has rarely been involved in scandal, Mr. Walker said, I think she is a lot like Princess Annette be honest, the Princess Royal, the Queen's daughter. They clearly both have a sense of duty and get on with the job, but, my main reason being, they were recently at a joint engagement together to support women's health care and health care charities, it's a passion they share. Dot here, Mr. Walker is referring to a rare joint appearance undertaken by the two women back in April. Kate and Anne visited the headquarters of the Royal College of Midwives and Royal College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists in London. The Duchess of Cambridge is a patron of the Royal College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, RCOG, while the Princess Royal is a patron of the Royal College of Midwives, RCM. The pair visited both the organization's headquarters to learn about the ways they are working to improve maternal health care. Mr. Walker continued, I think it was a really lovely engagement because you could tell that they both had chemistry, that they liked each other, and they were both very passionate about and really interested in how women's health care is being improved within the United Kingdom. So I think that's where they share similarities. The outing marked their first ever engagement as a duo as the pair have only ever carried out public engagements as part of a larger family group. At the time, some royal commentators claimed it was in an effort to show the royal family coming together as a team, particularly following the shock exit of Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle two years earlier. So Forsey, host of Pod Save the Queen, said on an episode of her podcast that Anne and Kate were a combination she wasn't expecting to see. She said, it was interesting to see, and really nice to see, those two together, because I can't recall a time we've ever seen them together. 
Russell Myers, the Daily Mirror's royal editor, claimed that the collaboration came from the very top. He said, I have been saying this for quite a while, that there would be a lot more collaboration between them because, well there not only has to be, beauty think in the wake of the Sussexes leaving, they really did want to batten down the hatches and help each other, especially after coronavirus, and it was really from the very top. The Queen was saying, you do really need to work together, that is what the monarchy is about, helping each other to present and publicize your causes, because that is the only way that they are going to survive. Doc Both and Kate are among members of the firm who took on more responsibilities following the stepping down of Prince Andrew, exit of Harry and Meghan, death of Prince Philip and recent ill health of the Queen. Pauline McLaren, a professor of marketing and consumer research at Royal Holloway University, claimed the unusual pairing of the two royal women is means of modernizing the royal brand. Ms. McLaren told Express.co.uk previously, it foregrounds once again the crucial role that the young royals will play when Prince Charles becomes king. They are particularly important at this time, when we see more of a transition taking place, because they are the bright future of the monarchy and the most appealing aspects of the royal brand. The co-author of Royal Fever, The British Monarchy and Consumer Culture added, We have heard that Kate is going to be given more single duties to perform, and who better to learn from than her and who has frequently been praised for her dedicated service. Kate will therefore benefit from Anne's expertise, and Anne's work will gain a higher profile with Kate by her side. Anne has long been admired for her dedication to the firm and hard work in her career as a royal. Last year, the Times named her the royal family's busiest member, having carried out an impressive 540 official duties both at home in the UK and overseas. During her four-day trip to Australia and Papua New Guinea earlier this year, the Princess Royal packed in an impressive 20 engagements. Despite not working together previously, Kate and Anne are said to be good friends.